Hi everyone, it's Lily Bell from Melbourne, Australia. I hope you are all doing well. I'm having to do this uh, short uh, piece of video intro because unfortunately part of the video that I did a week ago um, was corrupted. Uh, I've tried to keep it as short as I could this video, but it was shot over two and a half days. Um, so basically, I just want to say that it will go straight into me um, pouring olive oil. Um, before that, I had mentioned that it's very rare that I cook, uh, especially what I did, maybe once or twice a year. And I'm not complaining. I just want to be realistic with you all because I don't want to give people this false uh, outlook on my life. Basically, it was filmed over two and a half days. Everything was prepped and measured before I started. All I had to do was do the cooking process. Of course, the cooking process was extremely hard for me. Every five minutes, I actually had to lay flat on my back for an hour, sometimes two. Uh, you do not see that in the video, however, because it's been cut. The actual video was cut up into 16 different parts that I had to merge together. Maybe one of the reasons why the start of it was was corrupted. Uh, so I started this on the, I think it was the 27th, and I finished it on the 29th late that night. Uh, it all turned out fantastic and I even though of I've literally been back in bed and doing nothing again uh, like I had been beforehand and I was pretty sick for about three days afterwards um, and today I've got uh, really bad eye pain behind my eye which could be a start of a migraine. I'm hoping that it's not going to be so please understand that what you see on the video and what you don't see. You do not see me uh, having to rest every five minutes. Standing for five minutes is actually extremely good for me. Usually I only can last two minutes, um, but I think I was pushing it. Uh, but mentally I'm ecstatic that I was able to do this for my parents, my, giving my mum a rest. Um, so there you go. Um, so it's good. we're going to go on to the video now. It is long. I have tried to cut it right down, but um, please try and get to the end of it because it's actually quite funny at the end. I'm going to guess it just a little bit. Don't need much. But a table, a little bit less than a tablespoon. Okay, now we're going to... Normally with this, you'd add onion to these recipes, but we can't. But we're okay with a little bit of garlic. So that is two cloves of crushed garlic. Okay, so that's in the pan. Can you see that? Okay, now we're going to pop this on low heat. Ah, wrong one. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to stir it for a few, stir it a little bit. Now, if you had onions in here, uh, you'd stir it just a little bit longer, but for about two minutes, not to burn it or anything, just to get it going. And then we'll be adding pork and beef mince, minced meat. That's what we call it in Australia. Do a bit of both because pork. So that's going to go there. Uh, now we've got... Stop it for one second. Okay, now this saucepan here is going to be for the Mornay. Basically with that one, um, I'm got to put some garlic in that, same as I'm doing with the fry pan. And then I will be melting three tablespoons of butter, um, which is here. Again, it's already been measured, okay. And cook that for like two minutes as well.
Okay. I'm going to put this one on. Oh, I keep using that one. On low. And let that melt. Now here I'm going to be putting the meat. And I'm going to break it up. This is a low heat. It's actually a low heat, but it's not. Put the tail on. I hope you can hear me. Okay, so. Oh. Yes, my hands have been washed. I'm actually going to try and put this on the lower one because I need to go and sit down and not leave that in there. Now this is starting to melt, let me show you. Okay, so I'm actually going to turn that off for a minute because I'm feeling just a tad faint. I need to go and rest. Um, I'll give this 10 minutes and I'll stir it and I'll be back. I moved the saucepan onto this one because it was quite high. Okay, so now I've got, it's meant to be 50 grams of flour, plain flour. Whoops. I don't need to go by a recipe. Um, one thing that you're actually taught in hospitality is you estimate and you don't go by recipes. So I basically do that. So I'm literally just going to, what I need to do now, um, just one moment. Okay, so the butter is melted. Now I'm going to be adding slowly little bits of flour with a whisk. I won't be whisking it with a whisk, but I'll be stirring it with a whisk and just um, popping it in until it's combined and then cooking it um, about two minutes to cook out flour. So it's not sort of floury taste. And then I'll be gradually adding some milk. So basically we're making a basic white sauce without the onion. And meanwhile, this is still cooking. Soon I'll be adding the gravy and probably a little bit of beef stock. Okay, so I need to put this back on. Okay, I'm just going to add, just add uh, just a little bit at a time. And just, as I said, I'm just stirring it. I'm not, and it actually, so basically, the two minutes that we leave, um, we keep stirring it, but um, after we've added the, enough flour to make the thickness of the, basically the start of the sauce, is because we want to cook out the flour. We don't, you know, otherwise you get that flour taste in your sauce. But you just got to be really careful that uh, you don't burn it either. Because right now you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. That's actually a lot of flour and it hasn't been, it's not cooking out at the moment. I'm not quite, hold on, I think that's going to be plenty. I don't think we need it as much as they say. Now, Yeah, I'm not going to put as much as I say because uh, I can always thicken it up later anyway. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a spatula. Oops, I'm making a mess here. And I always uh, clean up as I go. It's one thing we've, uh, that we were taught in cooking school hospitality and it's one thing that helps if um, you're in a rush or you've got a chronic illness or whatever um, is to have everything prepped have I've got my bin next to me so I can put scraps into it straight away so I'm not so basically I don't have dishes everywhere I have a sink full of um, uh, cold water to rinse things straight away which I'm about to do now and I've got a sink full of soapy water, which I'll pop things after I rinse them into it 
so it makes it nice and easy. I will not be doing that. My parents will be cleaning up, but it will not be a mess. And it they'll have two meals, basically. Now, this is done. Now, let me check this over here. Okay, that definitely needs to... I need to add milk. So, again, I just add a little bit. And, you know, I don't, if they say three cups, but I'm just doing it by look. Okay, so I've poured the gravy in here. It's a little, you might think it's a little wet, but this is going to have pasta in it and veggies, uh, and it will go down. I'm actually going to turn that off for a minute because I need to concentrate on the white sauce. And, of course, I turned it one off. One off that I needed on. Okay, so this is the white sauce that come over and it's thickening up. See? Nice and thick. No lumps. I've actually popped some herbs in here. Uh, basically just Italian herbs. Now I need to add more. See how it's starting to do that? I need to add now more milk. Very quickly. Again, I just guess everything. Make sure you get the sides of the saucepan because that's where it will stick and it will uh, go into, see like that, it'll get a little bit claggy. So you, you really do need to keep stirring the bottom of this so it doesn't burn. This is how you basically make a white sauce. I'm not gonna be cooking the pasta um, one because I asked my dad to get some noodles and instead he got rice noodles which they're noodles but it's like spaghetti uh, you don't want that I'm going to be putting this though in, in with this instead of the rice so they're out for lunch um, see that they're up for lunch and then they're going to go shopping. Oh yes, I'm going to pop some mushrooms in here. Mushrooms are really, really good for you and really goes well with a, a beef, a beef, um, well anything really, but casseroles. Okay, so this is thick again. I've got to remember that I've still got a lot of things to add in here, so I want the sauce not to be too thin, but I don't want it to be too thick because I'm still, I mean, this is just the basis of the sauce. Now, this is, I'm going to have to sit down, so I'm gonna turn this off. And does that off? Yep, and I'm coming back, because one thing you cannot do is leave a white sauce on. That's the problem. I usually don't do white sauces, uh, because of the standing issue. Okay, guys. Okay. I will admit, I'm probably shouldn't have done this. I'm exhausted. Um, okay, so I've gone ahead and I've popped in some frozen veg, just three veg. Uh, in I put one packet in there because I'm going to be adding um, mushrooms and. Uh, two packets in here. Yes, I add vegetables to I guess it's a tuna morning um, I always try and add veggies especially for my husband <laughs> and This is one tin of tuna That's been flaked and obviously I always get the tuna that's in uh, spring water no oil So now I'm going to go rinse this straight away because we don't want to smell the house out, so one moment. Now see that's quite thick. I can always add more milk later. The only thing left to do with this here is to add the cheese and let it melt down. Uh, again, I'm not going to measure, 
uh, and then wait until mum and dad get home and they can cook the pasta and then basically I'll be stirring the pasta through this popping it in a casserole dish and then sprinkling more cheese on top with a bit of parsley I don't think I remember to put down parsley though parsley just makes it so much prettier <laughs> Um, and then with this here, I just got to add these rice noodles to a pot of boiling water. I have it covered for, I think, 10 minutes. And then add that through there. Almost done. Uh, I will do the rice noodles because that's easy. But um, I can't cook the pasta anyway. Uh, the other pasta because Dad didn't get the right pasta. And I think I've had enough. So I don't have a lot of cleaning up to do. Okay, so I've got the mushrooms in here. I added just a little bit more beef stock. And that is looking really, really good. Nice and, it looks actually quite creamy. And in here, I wanted to put beef stock. To, because basically what you do with these noodles, I've broken them up because I didn't want them long. Um, the rice noodles is you just pop them in hot water and leave for 10 minutes and then you drain them and you pop them in here and you eat. I wanted to give it extra flavour and actually pop beef stock in here, but we're out. Um, so yeah, but everything's done almost. I've just got to, mum and dad have to, they still haven't shopped, they've just come home. Uh, so yeah, um, I better get my drink. Oh, okay, so that's the end result. There's probably a little bit too much pasta in there, but that's okay. And then probably just heat it through in the microwave and yeah. Okay, so it's the next day. It's actually almost 24 hours. Um, I'm doing up the tuna morne. My parents or my mum cooked up the pasta, so it's nice and hot. And this is the sauce. So, and these are, I don't know why they've got two out. Um, these are the casseroles, um, glass casserole containers that have been sprayed with olive oil. So now I'm going to mix that in with here. I did add, well, my mother did add a little bit of mustard because I always like to do that. So I'll do that now. Okay, so normally um, what I would do is have this in a big pot and then be nice and hot and then I'll pop cheese in with this and then mix the pasta in but because it's the next day um, I'm just popping everything in a container and then I'm going to mix the ch some cheese through and then some on top because it's going to melt anyway so I'm just trying to mix everything slowly together this is one of the casseroles uh, I just put uh, some cheddar cheese grated on top a little bit of parmesan not much uh, some um, salt, a little bit of pepper, and Italian herbs. And that's going to go into the oven on 180 fan forced and for about 35 to 40 minutes I will be covering it for the first 25 to 30 minutes and the last 10 to 15 minutes I'll take the top off to get it nice and brown. Um, it looks yummy, I wish I could have some. <laughs> okay, I will come back and let you see what it looks like. I just sprinkled, this is the end result, I just sprinkled a little bit of parsley over this and a little bit of Italian herbs. Uh, it's not really the right parsley, um, but that's okay. And my dad's going to dish it up and I might video that as well so you can see it. looks lovely, it smells amazing. Okay, so mum's in the background there, you can barely see her, but she's in there ready, she wants to wave. You can barely see your mum, don't freak out. You gonna wave? There's my mum. Oh, my dad's gonna start being silly. My dad's gonna dish up. Now you do it properly, and remember it's hot. Okay, dad? Okay. It's not on your um, face. Let me actually come up. Dad, you're in the way. Go ahead. It's the lighting's not really great. You really probably should have used a um, a square thing. Oh my! <laughs> no, <it's like> <laughs> 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 
not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah. I knew he was gonna do that. Dad, behave. I'm looking at you. More? Oh, well, it's up to you how much you want. Can I do it all, Glenna? You know, if you just stood up nicely, you would have had this nice cheese crust on top. But he's literally just, can I go just show them, please? Like, seriously, look how what he's done. He's just dumped it. Look at them. Look at that mess. Don't you ever tell me off again. I'm just going to stand back here. Yeah, you clean that up. Oh, and look, look, look. On the ground, mum, you should have seen him last night. I didn't even, there was one little crumb and he said, don't get it dirty because mum will have to clean the stove. And then he's just dumped a whole heap of stuff, not just on there, but on the floor. Look at him. Yeah, you clean up. Oh, he's so messy. Okay, anyway, guys, that, I would have presented it a lot better than that. Um, but hopefully it will taste nice. And that's the leftovers in there. And it is saucy enough, so that's good. And now I'm going to have my vegetables. Yay, not. Okay, guys, remember to love and respect yourself and others. And if you're having a bad day, if you're having a bad day, there's always tomorrow. Say goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Dad. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Mum and Pop their plates in the oven, the idiot. <laughs>